Greetings! Um, today I have a topic which is not particularly bugging me, but that I like to talk about and complain about generally, which is what I like to call as the creativity excuse, right? Uh, like a lot of people excuse themselves with their creativity. I don't know if that makes sense, but let me give you an example and maybe it will make it clearer. Um, for example, when somebody's drawing, right? Let's say they're drawing in a particular style, and that style has its either its limitations or its um, what do you call it? Um, it's um, yeah, it's like uh, flaws, and you point out these flaws in good faith, constructive criticism, and all that, right? Like you're like, okay, this art style is good, but A, B, C, and D. And the other person hides behind their style. No, 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 that's just the way I do things. I don't want to improve because improving would somehow affect this uh, style from being unique or something to that effect. Um, similar case in like music or um, writing or a lot of things. A lot of people like mistake being, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, being limited and being flawed as being artistic right uh, for example drawing um, human shapes that are not quite human looking and you're like okay you can improve it and they're like no that's my style and all my respect to your style but your style's dumb right why do I say this I say this mainly because uh, mostly I see this as a an excuse not to get better right whenever you have um, somebody who works and does things and all that and they refuse to take criticism because it doesn't make them uh, it's not quite them or it doesn't make them themselves what this tells me is that they refuse to improve on input and your authenticity is great and all but um, you're dealing with both worlds right you're dealing with an audience and you're dealing with yourself and if you refuse to adapt to your audience even a little bit um, you might as well not release your work and keep it at home as long as you want it out there, um, you need to actually listen to input and actually mold your style around there so everybody gets entertained and everybody enjoys your work. So it doesn't become like, oh, this guy would be so good if he did A, B, and C. No, A, B, and C were done already and there is no flaw in this story or any flaw that comes is from what could happen or for, uh, is from a point that you don't control because you weren't aware of. Am I making sense here? Um, this is a topic that's annoying. Like, you see it a lot, especially in my country here in Kuwait. A lot of people are okay with the bare minimum. Like, you draw? Amazing, right? You are immediately my favorite person. Or, you, you play notes in public? Wow! How could you? That's amazing, right? And ma it's mainly because our culture is very sarcastic, right? It's uh, we've always been a comedy-oriented um, culture that likes to make fun of itself and uh, uh, the countries around it. Uh, us and Egypt are very like both of us were have like um, you know our, you know plays when you go on stage and people perform like mostly the, like our plays are comedy and parody and satire based. They're almost never used to actually like convey a point. It's just mocking. And maybe there's point to the mocking, and the mocking can give you something, but generally it's mocking, right? And that dissuades people from doing things, which reduces the amount of people of doing things, which ultimately uh, results into this thing, right? Uh, uh, people applauding just the smallest of acts of bravery of showing your flawed content. My issue, though, is that they don't critique it, and they actually feed in to the original point which is you know uh, uh, you're creative and we excuse you from being good because you're being creative and I, I can't I can't I've been campaigning for this like for years now which is um, it doesn't matter how uh, what creativity you pursue you must be good at it you must be like um, the best you version of you when you're producing if you're going to show it to people. Otherwise, don't. Do it, like, you know, in a random, 
like gathering with friends and sure play your notes and show your art but if you're gonna display it you want people to see it it must be as flawless as possible you will never reach it and you'll hate yourself and that is the beauty of it right um, at least that's how I view it and uh, lately you go to YouTube and you go to a lot of places a lot of people are stuck in the mentality of um, being me and that's it and of course if you're like me and you're just posting random videos all power to you but if you claim right you claim to be an artist or a writer or a musician that like that claim comes with responsibility you owe it to that profession to do good if you're a guy who plays music like I'm a guy who writes poetry all the power to you but if you're a poet you better be a goddamn good poet right and you must strive to be better if you're a musician same thing and that's a missing thing people want the name but they don't want to work for it and that's no that is i reject that notion and so should everybody you don't glorify crap because uh, the person is being creative right no if somebody claims to be an engineer, they goddamn well build me a good building. If they claim to be an accountant, they better do my taxes right. But if they're a guy who does accounting on the side as a hobby, okay, pressures are off, right? It's a hobby. But if it's a claim, a profession, a, uh, a skill set, you know, if, if you were an, an RPG character, you would have it as a trait. It gives you bonuses, right? <laughs> you must work for it to sustain it and to... Uh, when you're tackled with an actual musician or, I don't know, a magician or whatever, like, hobby or activity that you can do, a 3D designer or whatever, as long as you claim to be one of those things, you must strive for it. And I know I'm repeating myself, but it's so important of a point that people miss. There's a huge difference between an artist and a guy who draws. There must, the distinction must be made. We must not let creativity be an excuse for people to do crap things. So yeah, um, that's my two cents on the issue, and uh, you'll see you on the next one.